Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am J.A. Dudley. The, um, here on Sukkot, we went out for supplies, my family and I did. Uh, well, actually, we went home because we happened to live close to here. And then uh, we did uh, Shabbat prep or... Uh, we have mostly everything that we uh, that we have in need here, so didn't really need much. Got a, a few little things. I did need more ammunition because the ammo that I I got online, some of it doesn't fit right in my uh, in my barrel. Couldn't figure it out, but the spacing and everything is real weird and different on some of this ammo. I reached out to the company and hopefully they do something right or they tell me like oh that's just how it is with the um the, this practice ammo that that i ordered because it's all over the place but now uh we went out to a few places and i uh, uh, picked up a few things one of the things that we got was a, a chair for my little chunk that my wife is using as an ottoman right now Oh, oh, the bottom half, <laughs> not the part that he sits in. That's what she, um, uh, she's trying to correct me on because she's using that. But got, uh, went to Atwoods, got some ammo, got that chair, and I turned the corner, and boom, there was a um, a new display case with a whole bunch of SOG knives. And you know that's my weakness because I'm a SOG fanboy. I EDC two different SOG knives. Uh, this is one, is my um, Seal XR, and then this is my uh, SOG TAC the automatic, which is awesome. It's real thin, real light, and this one is chunky and heavy. Uh, but these, well, I know this one was definitely an, a really expensive knife. This one, how much did I pay for this? Not not exactly sure, but uh, it it wasn't cheap, or to say the least. And I was trying to figure out where I could justify either getting a SOG pillar or a SOG. Uh, was it the seal? Was it seal tanto? I believe that's the um, next one in this series that I want to get. But it's the fixed blade one, the fixed blade SOG Seal Tanto FX, which is awesome. I wanted that as my left side uh, knife. I wanted a fixed blade knife, but I ended up getting this one instead because it's like, oh, I want something light, something discreet. So went with this. And both of these are made in the USA. That's another reason why I wanted to go with the... Um, uh, SOG Seal Tanto or the SOG Pillar Blackout. So keep everything nice and black. But went into Atwoods and saw this SOG display and I'm looking through the knives. They got a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of uh, 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 folding knives like these. Well, they don't have this one in there. But they had a bunch of different folding knives, some multi-tools, which I, I carry SOG multi-tools as well. And I was like, ooh, they have this. The SOG field knife. Now, shalom. Uh, they have this SOG field knife with the sheath. I was like, oh, I can't. It's not made in America, but it's a SOG, and like, it was right there. I couldn't go, uh, I couldn't just walk past it. I was there staring at everything in the um, in the case, and then I was like, it's only $30. Maybe I should get it. It's, I think it's made in China. Well, it's not made in the USA, wherever it's made. Well, on the box, it says made in China. I'm not sure if the box was just made in China. But I wanted a fixed blade knife so that I could EDC. And it's all going to depend on the sheath back here. So 
let's crack into this. Now it's a blade length of 4.1 inches and get the box open, see what the sheath is about. A lot of people online have complained about the sheath. That's usually the deal breaker on knives. Like how are you gonna carry it? Especially if it's a fixed blade knife, you wanna have so many different options and what you can do. So it's a, fairly slim sheath if you look at it right here and it's almost like this was 3d printed or something like that what is the sheath made out of let's see full tang design maybe if i would have looked at it online it would tell i, I think this is uh um uh, glass reinforced nylon for the sheath so let's continue opening this up and not cut myself and get the knife out. Yes, it says it on there right at the bottom. If you can see it, China. So that kind of sucks, but it feels nice and sturdy. It's not as heavy as uh, any of my other knives, but there are so many different good reviews on this. It's hitting my rings and it feels like a, a rubber ball like almost like it wants to jump out of my hand let's see what's the lock lock up like locks up pretty good i'm not sure if i would trust it because it, it feels like it's just pressure locked in there there's no uh no click with it locking in almost like a um uh, the harder uh the harder glass reinforced nylon or the different um micartas and everything when you put the knife in the sheath you hear that audible click like it's not gonna go anywhere and this has rivets holding everything together so i'm wondering how could i edc this I don't know if I want to keep it up and down vertical and it doesn't have a rotating clip. I'm going to have to see. Maybe I'll put it on my belt for a while on my left side so I could just draw it just like that. See how it works. If it will pop off or anything like that. Let's see. Even though I just cut this and ripped it all up. How sharp is it out of the box? Yeah. Cutting through nice and easy right out of the box. Oh, it definitely is sharp. So I'm gonna, for right now, I'm gonna say that this uh, Sog Field Knife is a go. If not, I'll find some place for it in my kit, maybe even on my line gear. Oh, putting it in the wrong way. My, if I end up getting a, uh, a pillar or the Sog Seal Tanto FX, and then I'll carry that one and then put this on with one of my kits for my line gear because it's so thin feels nice and sturdy and with that i won't mind losing it for the price those other ones they're pretty hefty price so uh, i'm gonna say that this is a win for right now adding it to my saw collection and we'll go from there y'all have a blessed day enjoy your sukkot or uh your uh your shabbat or whenever you're watching this y'all have a blessed day shalom